so weird for me to do that. <laughs> I'm back again and uh, with my amazing husband and trying to ask him questions that I get asked or that I have based on all the video that he makes and all the knowledge and information that he knows and I'm just trying to record it and share it with you so my next question is something that a lot of my friends are asking me and that I'm curious to know so for somebody that has a lot of anxiety like anxious person or live an anxious life what would you recommend for, to, for them to do on a daily basis other than trying to meditate? Mm. Okay, by the way guys, I don't know what question she's gonna ask me, so like every time... <laughs> so you're like, what is yeah. this guy? Yeah. No, oh. but you know, okay. I have a lot of friends that suffer from anxiety and they're like, they don't want to take any medication, they don't want to do all of that work. Well, they don't and want to take medication? No, they don't oh. want, I'm talking about lifestyle. They don't want to take medication, they don't, you know, they try to meditate but not successfully well, these people are you know i don't like it when people come and they're like hey listen can you help me with something but i won't take any drugs i don't want supplements i don't want to change my behavior what can i do no but okay no. About, about behavior i mean no the, the best solutions are pharmacological okay they are for for sure uh but you know i the best solutions are pharmacological uh meditation has an impact but again we have to, to cut that out uh you know going out in the sun Having a good circadian rhythm and good sleep will have mm -hmm. a tremendous impact on uh, on anxiety. Sleeping uh, uh, deeply and fully at night, sleeping at the same time regularly, and going in the sun in the morning will uh, improve, optimize their gene expression in their body through the day. Uh, One can argue an anxious person doesn't sleep well at night. That's true, uh, and that is that is true. So mental illness is correlated with uh, worse sleep, and worse sleep causes mental illness. It, it's a feedback, negative feedback. Loop. Yeah. Uh, but again, they don't want to take any... But okay. how can you break it? Do they want to take supplements? They, are they willing to take... They don't want to take medicine or they don't want to take supplements? No, they can take supplements. Oh, they can take supplements? Yeah, they can oh, okay, take supplements. okay. This is much better. And not medicine. Because oh, of, like, all got it, got it. Now. Okay, sure. Well, well, then, you know, this is... Okay, that's... Then now it becomes very complicated. This is exciting. Okay, so... Uh, so the first thing that they can do is... One of the sources of anxiety in people is inflammation. So you can have neural inflammation in your brain. So you want to reduce the inflammation in your brain. Mm -hmm. There are things that reduce uh, inflammation in the brain, like uh, most recently I talked about uh, CBD reduces yeah. inflammation in the brain. Um, many other compounds do. This is a list sometimes for the cognitive en uh, enhancement people that, that buy my package. I usually include things that affect uh, inflammation and oxidative stress in the brain. Oxidative stress uh, hasn't. People don't know that it, it causes anxiety, but I'm sure it does because it, it kills neurons and stuff like yeah. that. But inflammation is tied to depression and anxiety. So in, inflammatory factors like TNF-alpha are upregulated in people that have anxiety or, mm. or uh, so. So you want to reduce the inflammation. How you can do that is by uh, taking certain uh, herbal supplements that reduce inflammation, which there are a, a bunch of them. I mean, I mentioned CBD, but like it's literally, there's like 20 of them. Okay. So you can go on, I mean, turmeric does it. Uh, there's a bunch, of, a bunch of different ones, but what you want to look at is anti-inflammatory supplements that will reduce inflammation in the brain specifically. And, and also, I'm not going to list all of them because people pay for this. So this is <laughs> <laughs> genuinely, but, 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 but uh, do, there's some free ones. Both CBD and turmeric do uh, reduce inflammation specifically in the brain and I found uh, papers for this. Um, the other thing you can do is reduce systemic inflammation in the body by changing your cut, the diet that you eat. Now, if you have anxiety, you will do better in a ketogenic diet. Ketogenic mm -hmm. diet increases GABAergic signaling in the brain. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, uh, opposite of the glutamate neurotransmitter that is excitatory. It relaxes the brain. It's how what makes you feel relaxed when you take Xanax. If you uh, eat a ketogenic diet, you will get a small part of uh, the feeling of Xanax every single day and it won't downregulate like it will with Xanax. And that's how a ketogenic diet was created. It was created for epileptics. People have seizures. Oh, what that do, makes sense. Yeah. What do they give people who have seizures? They give them a drug to reduce, to increase GABAergic signaling to prevent the, the seizures. So a ketogenic diet will do that as well. So ketogenic diet doesn't just make people think more clearly. It also makes them more relaxed. So a, a really ketogenic diet, not like ours where we're eating salads and stuff like that. If someone's really anxious, go on a serious ketogenic diet, reduce the inflammation in your brain with some supplements. And then, you know, then you can increase, you can take other supplements to, they don't want to take drugs, but you can take other supplements to affect uh, neurogenesis in your brain, 
um, you know, there are some, you know, I, I don't give all these things away. I give them to clients, but uh, the ones that people really know about include uh, lion's mane, the mushroom, the mm -hmm. herb, uh, does that. Uh, many others do that. And then you can take supplements to affect uh, transmission of serotonin. So, for example, zinc, if they take, uh, you know, I, I take a high dose, but uh, your friends are females and they may get um, like nauseous. So what you want them to do is on an empty stomach, take 15 milligrams mm -hmm. of uh, zinc in the beginning, maybe raise it to 30 later on an empty stomach, but not first thing in the morning because it'll make them more nauseous. So in the middle of the day, like in like, and that's another thing is that they, they should do a circadian kind of eating. So they should cut their eating uh, schedule down a little bit so that everything circadian should be improved. Hmm. Um, How about exercise? Oh, exercise. Yeah, absolutely. I forgot to mention. Sorry. What so kind two, of exercise? two things about that. Hardcore cardiovascular exercise mm -hmm. and sauna will both raise neuro neurotrophic factors in the brain mm -hmm. significantly. In, in the case of cardiovascular exercise, they also release what are called endorphins. Endorphins are what naturally agonize the opioid receptors in the brain. So they're like natural opiates. And so it'll release endorphins, but it'll also release brain uh, release a brain derived neurotrophic factor and glial cell derived neurotrophic factor, which will provide a calming effect, something similar to an SSRI. If they go to the sauna, they should go to a sauna that's 175 degrees Fahrenheit, stay in there for at least 20 minutes. In my opinion, more than that, I stay on average, we stay 30 minutes, mm -hmm. but you can stay 40 minutes. And uh, if you do them in a row, uh, which is difficult to do in the beginning, they're a little bit dangerous, but uh, once you get used to it, you do them in a row, you're going to get a real big boost of uh, neurotrophic factors. And if you do that a few days okay. a week, it will impact you. So ketogenic diet and that by itself, without all the supplements, which cost money. But just those two things will really impact the way someone feels. And how long do you think before you start seeing changes? How long do they need to stick to that? Because that's a problem uh, a lot of people have. So, they give up. Yes. So, so, so actually, the, neuro the neurotrophic effect is, is immediate, but... Uh, I I would say the about three months. Okay. Uh, three months uh, to four months, the effect will will reach its maximal and then stay at that level, and it won't decrease mm -hmm. from the ketogenic diet or the other thing. Okay. Yeah, this this really works. Uh, anxiety is uh, anxiety is derived from an overactive amygdala, which is our fight or flight response. Mm -hmm which uh, affects a lot of things in our brains, affects adrenergic signaling. So you have more nor norepinephrine, more adrenaline signaling, which is supposed to be there when you're, when you're it, it involves also a raise in the sympathetic nervous tone. So it makes your blood vessels tighter and stuff like that. This happens sometimes for people that had very bad experiences in their life. Mm -hmm. the, we are adaptable people. So if we have a very bad experience, our bodies get used to it and they don't want us to ever get, for example, eaten by a bear. It thinks we almost got eaten by a bear once. So the next time we're going to move faster. So you, the way to break it up is to break that uh, signaling. But anxiety also comes from inflammation, as we know. And so you can't really break that signaling directly with supplements and stuff like that other than meditation. Uh, but you can increase the serotonergic signaling with a, couple, a few supplements, actually, not just zinc. And that serotonergic signaling sort of inhibits this adrenergic signaling. It works in an opposing way a little bit. So that, that's, those are my comments right. on that. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you guys. See you next time.